welcome back. I figured out a way around this that uh, we haven't gone over in class ever before. Here's how we can solve this problem with the, uh, the uh, enemy firing at us every five seconds. The, the reason why we made these two different green flag events for the enemy, and we didn't just put broadcast fire wait five seconds into the forever loop along with everything else, is because, like, let's just say if we did this, and we put everything into this stack, and we didn't worry about this at all. Put everything in here. If you hit run, can you see how the enemy is no longer moving? He's still firing every five seconds, which is great. But he's not moving anymore because he's waiting five seconds. And we're after five seconds, he runs through all of these things. He moves 0.5 steps, which is hardly anything. And immediately goes back to the top of the forever loop, broadcasts fire, shoots at us, and then waits five seconds again. So because of that five second delay, it looks like he's standing still. He only moves 0.5 pixels every five seconds. So he's standing still. So I put that over here so that he can count to five and fire, but also move towards us. So now he's moving towards us and counting to five and firing. The problem is what we want to do is we want to be able to hit the enemy and if touching fireball, take energy away um, and if his energy is less than zero, we want to hide the enemy and stop the script. What's happening is when we stop this script, it actually works. Here I am shooting at the enemy. He's hidden. This script stops, but this fire script is still going. And even though he's invisible, he's shooting at us and, uh, and, and getting us. There's two ways to do this. One way is a clunky way. It's not the best way, but we're broadcasting fire too, right? Uh, when we fire, when the when the enemy dies, we're hiding the enemy and we're stopping the script. We could broadcast like we did before. Um, in the last video, I made a new message called enemy over. And that could hide the enemy and the fireball and be done with it. That would, that would work. Um, I might do that in a second, and you can figure out which one you, one you want to do. But there's another way to do this countdown that's a little more elegant. There is a timer built in to snap. And if we see the timer, you can see it's running. It's counting in seconds. Now, it's counting even though I've stopped the script. And every time I hit stop, it doesn't reset the timer. But if I use the reset timer block, it does reset the timer, but it's still going. So what we would do is we would say, um, you know, when green flag clicked, we would reset the timer and we would, instead of broadcasting fire and waiting five seconds, we would take this out of here. We, we probably wouldn't even use this or this. We would reset timer here. Let's forget about this event here and forget we did this. Now, we want to broadcast fire every five seconds, but we don't want the sprite to wait, actually wait five seconds. We want it to keep moving. So every time the timer counts five seconds up, that's when we'll broadcast fire. Now, how do you do that? It's a little tricky. We've gone over the mod before. Mod is a way to do division. So 10 divided, 10 mod something is basically you divide it by the number and you get the remainder back. So 10 divided by 10 has a mod of zero because there's zero, there's no remainder, right? Um, 10 divided by 20 is um, you have a 10 remainder. So that's it's giving us the remainder. So if I do if I do timer, whatever the time is up here, mod five, I'm dividing it by five. And look, every time we do that, we can see what the remainder is. And it goes up until it'll actually hit zero if it's a multiple of five. So if it hits five, five mod five is zero. 10 mod five is zero. 15 mod five is zero. 20 mod five, you guessed it, is zero. So each time timer mod five equals zero, that's a way to say every time five seconds has passed, do something. So now that we've set this up, 
timer mod 5. So every time timer divided by 5 is 0. In other words, when it's a multiple of 5, this may or may not work. We'll find out. If timer mod 5 equals 0, broadcast fire. And that can just go into the forever loop. Uh, let's put it as its own conditional here. Let's see if that works. He fired at us. Fired at us again. It's working now. Let's see if the conditional we wrote last time, if the enemy is less than zero or, or uh, equal to zero, hide and stop the script. Let's see if we can get him. Hey, and is he gonna shoot? No, because this whole script ended. Look at that, timer mod five actually works. I don't like the fact that he fires right away and, and takes energy away, but he's still shooting at us every five seconds. Whoa. But if we shoot at the enemy, oh my gosh, oh geez, oh geez. We can take that enemy out. All right, that actually works. Now, you might be asking, well, what was the other way you were talking about? Well. If you want to see it it's it, it it's interesting to see different ways to do things right so we might if we didn't use this timer mod 5 piece um i'll just duplicate this broadcast fire thing we still could say uh when green flag clicked forever um broadcast fire and wait five seconds but we could say if our energy is less than zero or equal zero we could broadcast another message like enemy one over, which is the enemy essentially uh, dying, and we'll broadcast that. And uh, when I receive enemy one over, well, we don't have to hide because we're already hiding. What we would do is the fireball two, the enemy's fireball, when I receive enemy one over hide now why is this not great let's run it let's see what happens okay oh gosh he's gonna fire at me all right we just did it we killed the enemy oh didn't work when i receive enemy one over hide you know why that doesn't work because we're telling the fireball to show again even if you're hidden we're telling the fireball to show again uh, every time you receive fire two. So that just plain doesn't work. So let's get rid of that whole method. Let's not do that. Broadcast enemy one over, forget about that. We are gonna do the mod method. It's the best, it's the best way. So if, yeah, that goes in the bottom and we don't need to stop the script. We don't need this at all. So now our enemy uh, algorithm is a lot simpler. It's just one stack instead of two stacks. And we've got the timer mod five broadcast fire method. Enemy is firing at us still every five seconds. It's working. And uh, oh my gosh, it's hard to beat. And he disappears. What did I miss there? What did I mess up on? Something still isn't right. Oh, stop this script. We're supposed to stop the script. Stop this script. Um, hide, stop this script. OK, let's, let's check that out. I just want to make sure I can get rid of this enemy and have it stop bothering me. All right, the script is gone. So now the enemy is, script is actually stopped. Instead of us just hiding everything, it's a more elegant solution. We've actually stopped the script. And that's by using this timer mod 5. All right, so that, that wraps up this. Uh, this video and I'm going to do one more video about customization and uh, that'll do it. See you next time.